How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week I spent two days with an artist to teach him how to do a cover up. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Day one. I can tell you I was ready to uh, kind of start learning something that I had already kind of had an idea from. I've seen uh, uh, Kevin's videos before. I don't know, I was pretty comfortable. Honestly, I was pretty comfortable. He's, uh, he's a cool dude, you know? On day one, I wanted him to really understand what it takes to do a cover-up, especially on do's and don'ts, needle selection, voltage, skin complexion, and everything that would help him out to execute a good cover-up. Do's and don'ts in a cover-up. Before you even get a client in, you have to make sure that what you're getting into is something that you can accomplish. Like you said earlier, sometimes you bite more than you can chew. So having that knowledge of when to get that client in is when it becomes important, especially for me since I get a client's, a clients out of state. I have to make sure that I can execute it. I'm not about to fly in a client and whenever he gets here, I'm like, oh, this is actually more complicated than I thought, I can do it. He has tried to do a few cover-ups in the past, so I'm excited to see uh, the difference between before the seminar and after the seminar. I didn't expect uh, to feel extremely nervous the second day I did, but first day I knew that he was just gonna be chill about it and you're just gonna go over everything. It's all part of the experience. This is all part of the experience, getting a cover-up or getting in with you, because at the end of the day, you are providing a service that's gonna la last a lifetime for that client, you know? For you, it's a, it's a one day thing, but for the client, it's a lifetime. So it starts at the consultation. Get to know the client. If you want the client to listen to you, when you're about to customize something, you gotta make them trust you. Uh, the fact that this dude kinda has like a simple setup whenever it comes to his inks and stuff like that, uh, I was not expecting that. As artists, we go through a lot of hurdles, you know? So I think that that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come in with, with Kevin, you know, because sometimes seminars can have like a breakthrough and that's exactly what happened. I want to keep it. So now I'm just going to dip it once. One. Just to reload. And no matter what I do, it's going to keep it. See that? It doesn't change it. This is um, 15 drops, right? Just let it go. As you get closer to the other side, start separating the scribble technique. Yes, at the beginning is a little bit tighter. Towards the end, you start separating, separating it a little bit more. No matter what, it's a risk. You know what I'm saying? I, I can tell you I was nervous from the night before. I uh, kind of had a tough time, kind of like, you know, getting good sleep <laughs> and stuff like that. But no, I can be ready. I have been working as hard as I can whenever it comes to, uh, you know, just the, the tattoos that I've been doing and stuff like that, you know. I always like to step out of my comfort zone. Today is day two and I'm gonna coach him through the whole entire cover-up to make sure he executes it the right way. We stenciled both of them, kind of edited both of them. And uh, yeah, so right now it's about Don deciding what he wants to see on his leg. <laughs> hey, that's always good. I really like it. Um, the most important thing is having the eye land somewhere in the yes. in the eye so, of the octopus. Yeah, so the eye socket has to land here. So that it's nice and dark in that area. Mm -hmm. It's like a stencil. When I'm looking at it, uh, even though we have the eye socket on the dark area, this way. yeah, this is our highlight. So we don't want to mess with that touching this black area. So we need to pull the eye lower. So first thing I would start with, it would be, uh, I will do the outline of the jaw so you won't lose that. Uh, if you want to use the 14 or the seven, just a, a simple one, doesn't have to be too harsh. Okay. Um, that way we don't lose the, the, the jaw because we want to start with the, the lip. Okay. The contrast of the so lip. So you're going to start from the bottom. You're gonna yeah, we're going to, yeah, exactly. So outline of the, of the jaw, go with the conscious of the lip. Yeah. This is like the perfect area to kind of warm up on how to loose, loosen up your wrist. But you start with the dark? Yeah, start with the dark area. And just going, 
see how it's pretty much the same thing. And remember not to follow any patterns. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to not fall into shapes, any patterns, any rhythm. It's, it has to be all random. So that way you start creating all those little dots. Okay. Oh. It was it was a little rough in the beginning, uh, whether it was uh, the nerves or whatnot. But sometimes you do it. It's just like anything, you know. You kind of at some points feel like you wanna give up maybe or you know you're like maybe this isn't for me but I just know how to kind of get out of those yeah, yeah, you know yeah. zones right away uh, I knew that if it, it's just about keeping keeping on the first couple hours I want to be next to him coaching him through the whole entire thing if he has any questions I want to teach him how to move his hands things to look out for and how to execute it and you got to take advantage of these corners right here you see that like this line right here mm -hmm. is so sharp so that that's the that's the areas that you got to take uh, take advantage of and now, since you already have the sharp areas, you can start doing the separated uh, texture. Okay. But very lightly on that surface. That's your highlight. Okay. So sometimes people just want to add everything they see on that reference, but in all reality, but you, do the you don't need that. Okay. Yeah, focus on the contrast first. Everything you see black, do that first. Okay. Sometimes, some people are a certain way, you know, for the camera or for YouTube or for whatever, you know, and this guy is just the way that he is. Just a happy guy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I can tell that, you know, negative vibes are not his way. Uh, he's all about just kind of being optimistic about your progress. Mm -hmm. He is not this guy when you come in here. I mean, obviously as an artist, when you have a lot of years of knowledge and you kind of like had this profound experience on how you do your things, the skills that you have and stuff like that, you don't just want to be giving it to people that are not deserving. I feel in a way I kind of proved to him that like I'm serious about it. It's been uh, like uh, a choice right now just because the black is doing so well that we got to keep pushing that contrast. Okay. Yeah, so in this case right there, uh, because now we're going into the highlight area, what we want to do is uh, be more gentle okay. so we don't uh, compromise the highlight area. We're going to start on the bottom, going from the darkest to the lightest. So I'm here, look at that. And with this, now I'm doing the scribble technique, but I'm not really taking it off the skin. So by doing the scribble technique on this situation, I'm overlapping that black so it can take over a little bit of those gaps and also create a different tone. As I'm doing this, and as I'm getting closer to the you highlight separate. area, I start separating. And I kind of wipe, I don't want to see how I'm doing. I like that. comfortable though for sure this area right here right mm -hmm. let's say that you go a little too you go a little too bright mm -hmm. um, do you just kind of boom dip it yeah dip and it just once. very lightly go with your black and that's gonna give you a, a different contrast yeah uh, those lines that are going across here that's, that's going to be key because you can actually make those into wrinkles and it's going to help you out to cover it up a lot easier. Okay. okay. Now, would you do those with, with this gray or? I would do it with black. So I would go, black. I would paint your needle mm -hmm. into solid black and then that way it would allow you to make it sharp. I'm more of a hands-on guy, you know? So I was uh, looking forward to the second day more, right? But the first day really does kind of set your, your mind in the right place to understand what you're going to come into, you know what I'm saying, the second day. He also not just teaches you about your, your skills, your technical skills, but he also teaches you about how to have that personality that stands out from others. I thought that was something that, man, you can apply that to anything in life. 
in a way he is teaching you about tattooing but he's also teaching you about service he's teaching yeah. you about how to be uh, a better person this is the part that that kind of, well, at the same time, the the gray is, mm -hmm. is kind of like the same color as the faded exactly. black, right? So. Yeah, I mean, with, with that little corner doing grays, it's going to fall into place. It's going to really fall into place, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay, but cool. Stay away from this corner now and work on darker and darkening up this area. Because yeah. yeah. we're going to need that highlight. Okay. I think it's pretty good. I've got a lot to learn still, but it's definitely a new method that I'm enjoying. Um, it's just kind of funny how you can connect a lot of things together, you know, like with, I guess you could say the experience that I already have to what this dude is teaching me or has taught me. Uh, it's just cool because I can already see how I'm going to be able to adapt to like both ways over time, you know. It makes me feel like I just learned something like it's, it's like a profound experience in a way. It was, it was a little nerve wracking in the beginning and, uh, and I was like, Man, because because you're so used to like even stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's not about just kind of like going everywhere. Um, but I can seriously say that this is, it just feels more more fun. No, oh, dude, I'm really happy. Yeah. Really happy with it, bro. Like you, you definitely killed it. How do you feel? Oh, dude, I'm, honestly, I'm stoked. I'm stoked, man. From the cover-ups that you were showing me to this, yeah, big ass jump. It's a big ass jump. I'll be able to do a better job. Give you're me pretty, still some props, you're, man. You're pretty proud as a teacher, or what? Dude, I, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just proud of you, man. Like, that's amazing. I, I only gave you the tools. You use them. Like, that's, that's the main, that's the main thing here. The, the sad thing would have been like, I gave you all the tools and you didn't do the cover up. <laughs> I would have yeah, been sad as hell. Kind of like you know, about. but you, you, you learned it in within the three hours, so that's it. I'm really, I'm really, really happy for him. I'm really proud of him. He put a lot of work in and he was able to execute this cover up. So now that he has all these tools and all this knowledge, I hope he puts it to use and I can't wait to see his future projects.